How's it going guys? Babav here from GN Tech and welcome to a camera comparison between the Realme X2 Pro and the OnePlus 7T. So I'm recording this on the front facing cameras on both of these smartphones at 1080p resolution. So with this you can judge not only the audio that's being picked up by the smartphones but also the dynamic range from the front facing camera as well as the stabilization that both of these cameras offer. But with that being said, now I'm going to move into the primary camera sensor let you guys know how photos and videos perform in varying scenarios from that and then give you my overall judgment on both of these devices. So let's get started. Before getting to the samples, let's take a look at what sort of specifications both these phones have. A triple camera on the OnePlus 7T versus a quad camera on the Realme X2 Pro with that extra 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the front though, both the phones sport identical 16 megapixel cameras. We'll start with this picture of the Kempinski Hotel front. The difference between these images is the warmth from the 7T versus cooler tones from the X2 Pro. If you look a bit closer, there also seems to be more visible noise in the shadows on the bottom right side from the X2 Pro's image compared to the 7T. Keeping the same image on screen, this is a look at it with AI turned on, on the X2 Pro, where in comparison the 7T has no such option. There's no big differences aside from the ones mentioned already and here's a third sample, this time with the X2 Pro's AI and color boost feature on. Quite obviously you see how much more saturated the greens look in this case but not so much the blues. Moving forward, we've got this image of these flowers. For me, the X2 Pro's image is a bit too vibrant and by being so loses out on details of the flower. But we can note here that both phones tend to produce a great natural softening of the background, so we can say that both phones have pretty good hardware. With the AI mode turned on on the X2 Pro, there doesn't seem to be much change, but with AI and color boost on, the colors from both images match quite closely. But the way the 70 maintains detail in the flower, I think I'd choose that image over the X2 Pro's. This is a more generic situation and side by side the detailing and color balance on the 7T is better. But this gave me a chance to test the X2 Pro 64 megapixel mode and that results in near identical photos from both phones. Just to test the 64 megapixel mode a bit further, I cropped into both images to a similar extent and to be honest the detailing is pretty identical. In another situation, it seems like the 70 is fading more of a contrasty look compared to the Realme X2 Pro. With that look, some may prefer it, but here I like the X2 Pro's image because of its greater detail in the shadows and better white balance. And next, here's a look at both phones' macro modes. I think clearly the 70 is the better phone in this case because you can go into a subject much further and still maintain some great amount of detail. In fact, I took these two images right after the macro image in the same position from the normal camera, which is obviously in a different position but gives you some perspective as to how close you can get with each phone. In this next image, I tend to prefer the X2 Pro. It's handled the contrasty situation well and I seem to prefer these colors. However, the main aim aim of the sample was to test ultra wide angle cameras on both phones. What the 70 does well is maintain colors between both cameras and keep a hold of that consistency. For the X2 Pro, this is not the case and the image looks a bit blown out to be honest. What I can commend the X2 Pro for doing is maintaining detail on the foreground in the left but that may just be because of the overall brighter looking image. We're back near the shore now and this time to test the camera's zoom technology in particular. We'll be zooming into the Dubai Eye and at one time zoom you can't really tell either phone apart. This is at two times zoom and with both phones having optical zoom at this level, it seems to me that the X2 Pro's hardware is better especially if you look at the detailing on the buildings. At 3 times zoom, it's more of a fair competition and now we're at 5 times zoom where I think the 70 is able to maintain more detail. This is the same at 10 times zoom which goes to show that the 70 is slightly better with digital zoom. However, you can zoom in much further up to 20 times on the X2 Pro which is something the 7T cannot do. Now here's a complex portrait scenario and I was quite frankly blown away by the differences. The X2 Pro is definitely winning here, not only because of the better image but also with edge detection. I think OnePlus does well to capture the accuracy of the colors but the X2 Pro's image quality is superior. You can zoom in two times on the OnePlus which you cannot do on the X2 Pro but again, I don't know why the OnePlus could not focus in this case even after multiple attempts and this was quite a surprising experience. 
onto the front camera, it's no surprise to see both phones with identical results. But where the 7T excels is with processing during portraits, where it can maintain the background while the X2 Pro blows out the background completely. Now let's take a look at some nighttime samples. In what was some unexpected rainy weather in Dubai, judging the foreground alone doesn't show much of a difference in the pictures. But in the background though, especially the right side, you can see the OnePlus capturing more detail in the trees. With both phones night modes though, the X2 Pro's image is more saturated compared to the 7T's. This is another example where again it seems as though the 7T has the advantage with detailing. And with night mode, the extra bit of saturation on the X2 Pro stands out for the wrong reasons. The 7T's image is more natural with better color balance as well. In a darker environment in less light, again it's clear that the 70s image is better. On the X2 Pro sample, there is a lot of visible noise and this is something that Realme should address with future updates to come. And with night mode, there is a reduction of that noise but it seems that the phone cannot stabilize for the full duration in pitch black conditions, leading to a blurry photo at the end of the night mode processing compared to the much better sample on the 7T. Wrapping up, we'll take a look at nighttime selfie samples. I do think the X2 Pro samples are better in this case both in terms of color and detail captured, with the 7T more aggressively softening the skin. In fact, the X2 Pro has an additional night mode option on the front facing camera, which further improves the photo by a bit, but it isn't necessary to use. With portrait mode 2, I think the X2 Pro is doing a better job. With photos out of the, the way, let's take a look at videos. This is 1080p footage from both phones at 30fps, where I think the 70 is doing the better job with both detail and stabilization, and I think the X2 Pro really suffers by not having optical image stabilization. Interestingly, the ultra wide angle 1080p 30fps footage from the X2 Pro is a lot better in terms of quality compared to the 7T and maybe even slightly better with stabilization. A lot of you have asked for 1080p 60fps samples, so from now on, I'm including those as well, where in terms of sharpness, the 7T is better, but it also has a wider field of view in comparison to the X2 Pro. Stabilization seems about the same from both, but the 7T is a hint better. Both phones also have modes which specifically stabilize footage, and I thought it would be great to test running samples with this mode turned on. And with it, you're locked at recording 1080p 60fps footage, and quite clearly, the 70 is doing a far better job. With 4K footage at 30fps, the quality difference between the samples is not that drastic compared to 1080p. But again, stabilization is better on the 70, and this just seems to be the general trend for video. But with 4K video, I think the 70 crops in a bit more compared to the X2 Pro, which is something you should keep in mind. Unfortunately, the X2 Pro cannot film ultra wide angle 4K footage which the 70 is capable of doing, although with a negative impact on stabilization. Just for completion, here's a running sample at 4K 30fps between both phones, where neither phone quite frankly does a very good job with stabilization. And lastly, we've got some 4K 60fps samples where the 70 comes out on top. Now it's time to test video in low light. So once again at 1080p 30fps, I'd say the detailing from the X2 Pro actually looks better. However, the 70 has the edge with stabilization. Ultra wide angle 1080p 30fps footage looks identical from both phones, but if you're extremely picky, the 70 just narrowly is better. Neither phone is too great with 4K video at 30fps either, and I think both phones keep up with each other more than anything else. Once again, you can use the ultra wide angle lens for 4K footage on the 7T, which is something you cannot do on the X2 Pro, and quite honestly, the ultra wide performance at night from the 7T is just not that great, and I stick to using the normal angle in as many scenarios as possible. And lastly, we've got 4K 60 FPS samples where the 70 is better marginally with detailing, but a lot more with stabilization. Again, sticking to the overall trend when it comes to video footage between both of these phones. So that wraps up this comparison. Let us know what you think about both of these phones down in the comments and make sure to subscribe and like for more. Thanks for watching. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.